from a setup perspective, it's all API driven. You essentially, you know, add backup tasks, uh, pick the channel you want to back up. And then from an exchange, uh, an OCC5 perspective, I should say, uh, we have a global admin account, but once you authenticate, you're driven to the Microsoft site to authenticate, go through any security checks, MFA, et cetera. And then, um, you know, you're driven back to us for step two, which is really just picking some mailboxes and validating a few options. Um, you know, namely, do you want to back up the customer's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the customer's shared, shared mailbox and the like accounts? Um, do we want to automatically activate new accounts when, when they're onboarded to 365? And finally, you know, by default, the service has unlimited retention, unlimited storage. Um, but if a customer will only wants to hold peer data for a certain period of time, that can be changed at the point of implementation. So we'll only hold it for two years, three years, et cetera. Um, from a recovery perspective, really just as easy as the setup. Um, again, using exchange as an example, first thing you do is pick who you want to recover for. And then what you need to recover, you can get very granular in that you can just recover an individual item. So an email, contact, task, et cetera. Um, or you can restore a whole mailbox or even a folder. Um, from an architectural standpoint, you know, we do a full backup initially when the customer's onboarded, then incremental backups afterwards. So you're not really having to pick a snapshot. You just, you know, you're accessing the full corporate to the customer data. And then it's what you need to restore, whether it's just a, you know, an individual folder um, or, you know, the full mailbox. When you do restore, you can essentially, um, it's going to go back to the original account by default. Uh, but nice thing is that employee was terminated. You need to send a copy of all their messages to their manager. You can put another account, pick the user you want to restore to, and it goes non-destructively, so in a subfolder. Um, but in the case of a ransomware attack, you restore into somebody's folder. You can do a full in-place restore and just build the original uh, data structure out for that inbox. Um, there's also the ability to download, like we mentioned, so you can export to either the local machine um, or you can go to any of those channels too earlier. And then finally, with this service, uh, reporting. Two different types of reports where uh, you can get uh, just uh, if you happen to be in the dashboard, you can get a snapshot of what happened uh, to the previous, you know, whatever time frame you need, really. Success and failures. Um, you can also do admin on it. Uh, if there are different team members logging in here and there's other questions, you can see what the team members are doing. But like I mentioned earlier, this kind of becomes a fire and forget solution. So to that end, we can send a, uh, you know, nightly report, that, you know, to either, you know, your security teams, directly to the customer, to both, um, so that you're very aware of what's going on with that backup uh, uh, on a daily basis.